if you hold… if you create any tension, either in the body or in the mind, you don't need another enemy in your life. You will just slowly work against yourself, not just in terms of physical health, in many different ways, you understand? You will turn your own life energies against you. Today we know very clearly that people who are going through excessive tensions definitely are inviting ailments, there's no question about it. Medically it's a proven fact, isn't it? But much more than that is happening. You are not only inviting health situation… Uh, health or ill health situations, you are inviting a whole host of problems in the world. Because how or in what way you reverberate, accordingly you draw those type of situations towards yourself, those kind of people towards yourself, those kind of ultimate results to your own life. So, what we are talking about is not just about beating the stress, not talking about just being little more peaceful. If you want to create your life the way you want it, you need to take charge of certain fundamentals. Otherwise, you are just working your own energies against yourself. And this is not… when I said it's a formidable enemy, because the very source of creation is here. It's better, it's best that this source of creation is working for you, not against you, isn't it? Yes or no? Yes. This such a powerful thing, it must be always working for you. If it works against you, you're finished. Nobody can save you, I'm telling you. If the very source of creation within you begins to work against you, uh, nothing, nothing in this world is going to save you. So it's very, very important. It is not just about being little free from stress, being little more peaceful, little more happy, it's not about that. To create your life the way you want it, it's very important that first of all the body, then the mind, then the energies, these things are attended to with utmost care. This is as important as you going out and making money, creating your family, doing whatever because all those things you may have and still be you may be miserable, not only for yourself, you may be causing much misery to everybody around you. Not because you are good or bad, simply because you are ignorant of life. People are causing pain to each other not because they are good or bad, they are just ignorant of the ways of life, isn't it? Hmm? When Whatever those people started nailing this man, it seems he said they know not what they're doing. All he's saying is ignorance is the only problem, isn't it? Not because they're evil, not because they're some devil's agents. Ignorance is the only problem. They know not what they're doing, that's the only problem, isn't it? <laughs>